Hello everybody, welcome to Subcondition Monday. Today I'm going to be speaking specifically about jarling. Jarling, this area here that starts to fall as you start to age and as you start to lose volume and the collagen and elastin fibers, everything starts to deplete. So what are we doing for our jarling? What we know we have to use are actives. Actives are products like your acids, your alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic, lactic, malic, tartaric, citrus, azulic, mandelic acid. These are all acids of different molecular size and weight and they get to live cells that stimulate collagen and elastin and those live cells are called the fibroblast cells. So they're all of a different weight and size and they work on different levels in the skin and this is really important for building a strong structure. When you are working with the face as we do and knowing the many levels that we have in our skin, it is like a house in that you want to build a strong structure. You don't just want a strong flooring, you want strong walls and you want a strong roof. And that's why it's very important to work with different molecules. The same with your retinoids and your retinols. You've got your retinoic acid, your retinol, your retinoic acid, which is retin-A. You've got your A1, your A2, your acetate, your palmitate. You've got all of these different molecular weights and different sizes of your vitamin A groupings that really help to strengthen and build a strong house. And this is why I talk a lot about it's great when you can use a product that has more than one molecule in it and that you're gonna see a stronger structure and just everything works better. And it's important to understand this. Um, think about that house thing, strong structure, walls, strong roofs, strong flooring, you've gotta have that. So when you are talking about jarling, you need to have, you've gotta build all those levels underneath to keep your skin strong and sturdy. And that is what's gonna help with jarling. The other thing for us Estes and for you non-Estes that are working from home when you're doing your regimen, is that you want to be constantly massaging, you know, doing your moves and all massaging everything into your face, um, you know, buckling your fingers up like this, doing all these kinds of moves really help with this jarling area, but you've got to get movement going. You, you want to be moving, move, movement is medicine. Now, um, you know, other things that can help with this are, is the muscle stimulators like New Face or Therabody, you know, some of these devices that, that activate, that really get in there and stimulate muscle tone um, and help with lymphatic system, the help, help with the lymphatic system. So these things are very, very important and they're very effective. And if you do them on a regular basis, they really help. The other thing that I do as an esthetician in my massage, you know, when I first went to beauty school 44 years ago in 1978 was when I graduated, we, at the massages that we were doing back then were very rhythmic and we weren't doing a lot of sculpting and being really specific and taking areas of the face that we needed to do more work with. Now what I do in my treatments is I'm doing a lot of sculpting massage and really helping to build these areas that are the weaker areas of someone's face. So this type of massage, it's a little bit stronger, a little bit deeper, but we do a lot of massage around this area here because as a woman in my 60s, it's very important as I realize myself that the more I massage my skin, the better my skin is going to be. I'm not going to be doing pinching. I'm not going to be doing suction devices because suction devices stretches the skin. So I am going to be doing a rhythmic massage, but it is going to be a firmer massage and sculpting is very important. So these moves are very important. You've seen me do them in my videos using my knuckles. These are moves that you can do at home yourself. And this is what really helps to keep the skin pretty. So that is Subcondition Monday's today's tip. I'll be back to see you all again next Monday. Bye-bye.